Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and today we've been asked to find the product of 1.37 as you guys would say or 1 and 37 hundredths as I would say and 0 0.513 or 513 thousandths and they want me to do that without a calculator without a calculator so first of all you're going to have no idea what to do if you don't remember what the word product means product is one of the few vocabulary words you must have memorized for the GED let's remember that a product is a multiplication expression a multiplication expression, or it's simplified, and what you guys think of as an answer. So I said, or, which one am I looking for here? Well, big clue, they tell me not to use my calculator, they actually do want me to do the math. So it's a, sorry, I'm looking for the simplified, what you think of as the answer here, if I were to multiply these two numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to write it out over here, 1.37 times uh, 0 0.513, okay? So if I were to do this in side work here, this is the third multiplication of a uh, decimals problem that I've done in this little series here so I'm gonna go kinda quickly but I'll just remind you that uh, when I multiply in the first place I just ignore the decimals and I ignore those leading zeros because I know they don't do anything and uh, reason why I can do that is because when multiplying every number in the or every digit I should say in the first number every digit in the first number is going to end up multiplying with every digit in the last number so lining things up and place value and all that it doesn't matter yet it doesn't matter yet so right now I'm just going to go ahead and multiply okay 3 times 7 is 21 so there's my 1 carry my 2 uh, 3 times 3 is 9 10 11 uh, so I'll drop my 1 carry my 1 3 times 1 is 1 plus 1 is 4 and I'm going to go really slowly here and be really neat because I actually screwed this up in a video before. <laughs> okay. Now I'm done multiplying by the three in the ones place. It's time to move over to this one. Now notice the one is in the tens place. So we should know that I'm not really multiplying by one. I'm really multiplying by 10. So I'm going to plop a zero down here in the next row in order to represent that zero on the back side of 10. Okay. So one times seven is seven. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1. Great, now I finished passing out that 1 in the tens column. Now it's time to pass out the 5, multiply by the 5 in the hundreds column. Now that's not just a regular 5, that is a 500. So this time I'm going to put two zeros back here uh, because I'm really multiplying by 500. Okay, so now 5 times 7 is 35. Put the 5 there, carry the 3. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17, 18. Drop the one, carry the one. Five times well, one is five, plus one is six. And let's see what I get. I get a one here, and then an eight, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Carry a one, a one, two, a 10. Carry a one and a seven. And I super duper, even though I wouldn't have a calculator, um, if I was doing this on the GED, I suggest you guys all check this in your TI. I actually made an error last time I did this problem, and the only reason I caught it is because I checked it in my TI. And if you're thinking, oh my goodness, the math teacher is making mistakes, I'm in trouble. Yeah, there are so many chances to make an error when you're doing three-digit times three-digit multiplication. The GED knows this, and it's often three-digit times three-digit when this does come up on the test. So make sure you go slow, check your work be really neat okay so anyway I did my multiplication but I got this number you know 70281 right now it looks like 70,281 obviously if I take something a little more than one and I multiply by something that's less than one I'm gonna get something a lot smaller than 70,000 you know so what do I get well remember that decimal places accumulate when you multiply so the total number of decimal places in the problem should be equal to the number of decimal places in the answer. So the total number of decimal places. So decimal places are those numbers uh, that are right of a decimal. So let's take a look. In this problem, I had one, two, 
three, four, five decimal places. So in my answer, I'm going to have five as well. So let's start at the back of this number and go one, two, three, four, five, plop down a decimal place here. This is a really tiny number, just like we expected something less than one. Uh, it is 70,281, but 70,281 what? 70,281, um, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, tiny little pieces. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.